Hey guys, guys, check this out. What is it? It's someone in. Hello? Hello? Can I help you? Yeah, you're writing your for the beauty commissioner. Yeah, do you know what time it is? It's after midnight. So I asked you to call yeah. in, I asked you to call in the morning. Because it's midnight. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're going to be a public elected official, so you should be able to respond to all of your constituents at any hour of the day, yeah? Huh? No, I'm a private citizen right now. I'm not an elected official. So you're calling someone, it looks like, about 20 times in a row after they asked you to stop calling in the middle of the night. Well, I was going to ask you a question about your campaign. Now, that's fine, but you can send an email, or you can call in the morning like I asked. Well, yeah, sure, but I mean, like, you're going to be a public elected official, so you're going to be on the clock all the time in order to, like, respond to all of those people's questions, so you can respond to all my questions. Your voice sounds very familiar. It does. I'm sure it does. You know, I do have a unique voice. So why are you trying to slap the young Democrats? So, Kento, since you're calling me and harassing me at midnight, I'm going to ask you one last time to stop calling me and stop harassing me. I have nothing to do with the Young Democrats. Nothing to do with no, you. No, but it does, because you're trying to slap the, uh, slap the Young Democrat, and I have to ask Democrats why you're trying to, like, uh, go all corporate on the uh, so, corporate hey, Kento. on Young Democrats. Kenta, did you know this is a corporate phone number and it's through Google and when you call it's recorded? Well, yeah, and so I'm going to I'm going to uh, get your voice recorded and why you're trying to use corporate like legal tactics in order to slap young Democrats. Okay, Kenta, I'm going to hang up. So last time I'm going to ask you to stop calling, stop texting. It's midnight. If you have a question, you can email me and I'll answer you in the morning. No, you can ask me right now. Why are you trying to... Hey, I'm hanging up, Kento. Have a good night. Give it up for Kento Azagami! <laughs> I'm digging this own personal theme music thing. I'm not going to lie. Give it like, up again for your host, uh, Ryan Minnell. Yeah. Such an inspirational story going on to prove that even people from Lacey can go on to do amazing things. I was so looking forward to like being here with the new sound equipment because I thought that maybe I wouldn't sound like a gay Urkel for once in my life. I live downtown. I love downtown. Everyone's always just like, everyone's always like, you're so brave for living downtown. Like, how do you do it? Like, why would, like, and I'm just like, I'm poor, bitch. Like, where else am I supposed to live? But it's been great. Like, I used to live next door to Planned Parenthood. Uh, Planned Parenthood is a fabulous place uh, in our community and really gets you going. Um, I, got, I got to know all of the protesters outside of Planned Parenthood, even though they just never seem to get to know me. <laughs> Every morning I walk out my door and they throw a leaflet in my face and say, have you considered adoption? And I'm like... Bitch, it is eight in the morning. I am considering Starbucks right now. They are always, they were always so interesting. Um, I, one time, I, I actually talked to one of them, and she told me that uh, it was like I, it was kind of like I, I, how you should think about it, abortion was, think about it as if somebody who was like way bigger than you was trying to uh, trying to kill you, and I don't remember what I said what I said to her. But I remember thinking, you know, if Godzilla starts marching down Capitol Way, I'm pretty sure the morality of the situation is going to be the last thing on my mind. It was really hard, too, because she had her baby with her, and uh, she put her baby in one of those t-shirts, like, I'm so glad my mommy didn't abort me. I don't know about you, I always found that to be very presumptuous. I mean, I swear to God, 
I get my student loan bill in the month, I, I, in the mail every month, and I open it up, and I'm just like, oh Jesus Christ, why didn't my mommy abort me? <laughs> why didn't my mommy abort me? Oh, why didn't my mommy abort me? I just bought a car recently. You know, it's not all that much. It's an '89 Mazda uh, Geo Metro. It's one I can afford. I went to Evergreen. You know. But I live downtown, and my apartment, unfortunately, does not come with the parking space. So I've had to like take I like take to creative means in order to like find a place to hide it. So I've decided to name my car Anne Frank. I mean, because you just have to get really creative with it sometimes. Like you'll just like move it into like the bank parking lot, and you're like, why? Of course, I am just like a perfectly normal Gentile patronizing this fine business establishment, and now I'm gonna leave for eight hours. I didn't realize just how bad like car maintenance is. Like you actually have to pay attention to things. I kind of left it alone, and so I the radiator just went out in it, and I pulled over on the side of the road because like it started smoking and I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god and I lift flipped the hood and I looked at it and I was like all right the radiator the radiator just blew and then I looked at it and I was like wait I'm gay how did I know that I've been de I've been getting back on the dating market recently it's weird it's tough like dating's tough like, I'm gay, so, like, I date dudes, and, like, we're kind of fucked up, aren't we? I was on this date a couple of weeks ago with this one guy, and we were walking down 4th Avenue, and uh, this homeless guy uh, stops us to ask us for change, and I was like, uh, I'm sorry, I work for a nonprofit. I don't got nothing. <laughs> uh, but the guy I was on a date with, with, like, just yelled at him, like, why don't you just go get a fucking job? <laughs> and I was like, you know... The guy was wearing a pair of boxer shorts on his head. I'm pretty sure it wasn't his resume being out of date that was the problem. But we went o but then we went over to uh, and we got dinner at QB and uh, we were going through all the standard first date shit, a uh, conversation crap. And he was like, "What do you do?" And I was like, "Oh, I work for a nonprofit." And he was like, "Oh, that's nice. What do you do for them?" And I was like, "The same thing as the guy with the underpants on his head. Only I wear a tie." He didn't find it that funny. <laughs> the rest of the day, but that was probably the peak of that day. I've learned a lot, like uh, working over the years. Um, I've learned the value of saying, I'm sorry. I work in retail. Um, I am putting my Evergreen degree to such good use. And I found that like the easiest way to deal with, uh, I, to work with people is just to say, I'm sorry. So I find myself saying, I'm sorry, day in and day out. I, I'm sorry your coupon doesn't work on that. No, I'm sorry that we're sold out. I, no, I'm really sorry about that. No, I'm sorry that you're still screaming at me. I'm really sorry about all the decisions I have made in my life that have led me up to this point. And the other thing too is like it's also really sets your like re realigns your ambitions in life. When I was little, I wanted to be president. I wanted to be the first gay president. I wanted to be the first minority president. Thanks, Obama. I wanted to be the first president for the Northwest. And now I just aspire to like uh, having a job where I no longer have to wear a name tag. People keep asking me about my name. They look at me. They look at me. They're like, "Oh, Kenta, that's an interesting name." And I'm like, "It's a Japanese name." And then people always want to like start talking about that. Like, "Well, I thought about Japan once." <laughs> I'm like, "Of course you did." Or they always want to like start talking at me too, and they're like, what, "Domo arigato," and I'm like, "Uh." Sushi taco? Because <laughs> I had to be like the one Asian that didn't learn Japanese when I was growing up. Um, and I even asked my dad about it when I was little. I was like, you know, you actually moved here from Japan. Like, you could have, like, you know, started talking to me when I was little. And he was like, well, you should be grateful for one because the only people that speak Japanese here are 20 year old college kids that like anime a little bit too much. <laughs> And then he was like, but I moved here for a reason, you, we live here for a reason, like, and you know, when you're here, you should do what the locals do, and in this country, we speak English and Spanish. Hello? Hello? Can I help you? Yeah, you're writing for a beauty commissioner. 
Yeah, do you know what time it is? It's after midnight. So I asked you to call yeah. him. I asked you to call in the morning because it's midnight. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're going to be a public elected official, so you should be able to respond to all of your constituents at any hour of the day, yeah? No, I'm a private citizen right now. I'm not an elected official. So you're calling someone, it looks like about 20 times in a row after they asked you to stop calling in the middle of the night. Well, I just going to ask you a question about your campaign. Now that's fine, but you can send an email, or you can call in the morning like I asked. Well, yeah, sure, but I mean, like, you're going to be a public elected official, so you're going to be on the clock all the time in order to, like, respond to all of those people's questions, so you can respond to all my questions. Your voice sounds very familiar. It does. I'm sure it does. You know, I do have a unique voice. So why are you trying to slap the young Democrats? So, Kento, since you're calling me and harassing me at midnight, I'm going to ask you one last time to stop calling me and stop harassing me. I have nothing to do with the young Democrats. Nothing to do with no, you. No, but it does, because you're trying to slap the, uh, slap the young Democrat, and I have to ask Democrats. Why you're trying to like uh, go all corporate on the uh, so hey Kento on the Democrat. Kento, did you know this is a corporate phone number and it's through Google and when you call it's recorded? Well, yeah, and so I'm going to record. I'm going to uh, get your voice recorded while you're trying to use corporate like legal tactics in order to slap young Democrats. Okay, Kento, I'm going to hang up. So last time I'm going to ask you to stop calling. Stop texting. It's midnight. If you have a question, you can email me, and I'll answer you in the morning. No, you can ask me right now. Why are you trying to... Hey, I'm hanging up, Kento. Have a good night.